All right, bro. You have counts for everything, sir? So it's 60 cash, 120 trade. It's up to you, man. 250. Okay, boom. Okay, so 310. All right, man. All right, Appreciate man. you. Thank you for taking care of everything, man. You all set? Or are you still looking, bro? Yeah, these are the only ones I want to card. Do you have any more of the one dollar cards, or are you still working? On it? I'm still working on it right now. I I'm really far behind. I got I got boxes I gotta go through, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got you, man. How are you doing today? Um, tired. I was up to like 2 a.m. yesterday sorting through everything, and I still haven't priced everything out. 33 in trade. It's. 47. And then any of these singles you're interested in? Uh, yes, I'm interested in all. Yeah. <laughs> so in cash total, it'd be like 83. In trade, it's 107. Any sealed stuff? Workana, 151 bundles, and starter deck. For one piece. I don't know if you do any. No, one piece. I'm really skeptical about the Lurkana. Uh So in grand total, it's like 190 total here. 235 in trade. How's it going, man? Very good. I messaged you last night about the 18,000 common on common bowl. Wondering if I could do card trade, card cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 180 trade and then 30 cash for the reverse hollows, hollows, and rares, yes. right? Okay. If you want to just park the bulk back here so you can get your cart when you're done. Like the trade's too good. Yeah. I like this. Okay. So if I give you this and it was 100 cash, how about I do, I'll take $15, I'll take $5 off this, so I'll give you 85 cash. Does that work? I'll give you a discount on this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Awesome. And you have the cash ready. You have the cash ready, right? Yeah, I already have awesome. Cash. Cool. Thank you. As Thank always. you so much, man. Have a great see weekend. You in December, right? Yes. So happy holidays until I see you again. Yes. Happy holidays. See you and your family. You're still looking, right, boss? Yes. Okay. Can I help you with anything? Uh, the Snorlax from Wolf Two. Snorlax from my feet. like, the, isn't that a rare? Like a hollow? Uh, no, it's the promo one. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, it's gonna be in this binder. It's not the Pokemon Center version. It's oh, no. just a regular, this one, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you have a count of everything already, boss? Yeah, it's a uh, 7,600. It's just commons and uncommons? Yeah. Are you looking for cash or trade? Trade, I guess. Okay. You get more in trade, that's why. Yeah. I mean. It's like double. 38 cash or 76. 76. As soon as you left, it got busy. How's it going, man? Good, how are you? I am coming. Two tables, please. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I got you, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Trainer Galleries, this is a dollar. They're all quarters, but uh, some of them are a dollar. 143 or 160. Does that sound about right now? That sounds about right. Okay, okay. I think something was off. Does that look right? This is this, right? Yeah. Okay, I think that's where I, what I missed. Take a look around? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Do you want me to take this away or do you want me to hold this here for now? Take that away. Okay, okay. You have 143 cash or 160 in trade. And then whenever you're all set, just let my wife know. She'll take care of you. Thank you, boss. Of course. Yes. You're the second person who's asked me, my hand rings that bad? Yes. I thought it was a Y. No, my bad. Yeah, he's like, is that a Y? And I'm like, what does that mean? And I'm like, it's a four, see? I see it now. <laughs> my writing's that bad. I'm offended. <laughs> Some stuff I can trade too, maybe I'll... Yeah, we can get there. I seen it yesterday, I came to buy the Entei and the right cup. Oh yeah, 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 I remember. So I seen it there and... I can take you over here, boss. Yeah. Pass on that. We buy CGC, but it's not at the market price that we pay at because okay. it just doesn't sell that well. Cash trade. I don't know what this equals, but that's what we'd buy it at. Okay. Do you want me to total it up and let you know? If you can. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So with this total, it's 220 cash, 45 in trade value. How much did you say you can do? I can knock off 100 off of it. 100? 725. It's 825 right now. 725 minus your trade in value, 245. You're short by 480. 480, yeah. okay. Yeah, I might have these two. We can do the easy if you want. Oh, so you're at 305. And I told you the slab was 725. You're short 420. It's a set, one to 10, one to nine. Is there any chance you could go to 700 on it? So you're short 245, is that correct? Yeah, I can pay the difference. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. You came here yesterday, so I'll cut I you a deal. It is super low pop. I really wanted to get it. I was hoping it was still here too.
I mean, it is a definitely a higher price point. Do you usually have like cars like that? High end, not really. Whenever we do have it, it sells really quickly because we give, I mean, I took a what, $125 yeah. off of it. We have amazing prices. We give everybody good deals, man. $245 and that is yours. You usually post your cards on uh, Instagram, right? eBay. Ebay, Everything's eBay. on eBay. Okay. Yeah. Brian, I made a deal with you yesterday. I cut you a good deal, man. I take care of my customers. I appreciate it. No problem, man. He's just started that whole process, so he gets it and he's trying to learn from his side of things how, gotcha. how to be more successful doing what you do. You have to understand your margins. eBay is like 13%. And then you have to factor in shipping. We pay for shipping because eBay says statistically shows that if you offer free shipping, people are more likely to hit the buy button. So you just come to shows and buy cards? That's all we do here. So we used to walk the shows. Yeah. If you're on the other side of the table and you're a vendor, you're not gonna really wanna cut people the deals that I need to buy it. Right. And so people are like, you should set up on the other side of the table because they see me all the time. And like people will just walk up to the table and they'll give you cards and you can just pay them. I'm like, I'll try it. I know my margin and I tell people like, this is what you know we, we buy at and then we get more in trades. It works out because we have a YouTube channel, people start to recognize us. There are people who are traveling to drop off their stuff to us because they know they can get cash on the spot yeah. because if you get take it to like a local game store, they offer you much lower percentage than we, we pay. Like some big box stores I've talked to in the area, they'll pay you 40 to 50% cash. By just going to me, you make 15 to 20% more in cash. Yeah. We do pay a table fee, so yeah. you have to factor that in, but it's worth it. It's part of the business, right? Yeah. I pay eBay fees, and this is, I pay the, the show fees, yeah, so yeah, yeah. it is what it is. And I enjoy it. So people don't want to do the work. It's a lot of manual labor. It is. People think like, oh, this is cars worth 100 bucks, so I want 100 bucks worth. It's like, well, it's not, that doesn't mean you're going to sell it and get $100 exactly. worth of it. You got, you got to list it, you got to sell it, yeah. you got to get the fees. Time is the most important thing. Yeah. People don't understand that. They want to get cashed out. It's like, that's not how it works. Even if you try to sell it in person, someone's going to be like, can you do it for like 90? But like, how long does it take to you to find that person? What are some good numbers to work with? Like, if you're trading, you said 75% of your buying like 65%? It was what we like to do. Do you ever increase or decrease based on like, you know, the desirable cards? Like if it's something that you think you'll move quickly, will you bump it up or you are like dollar cards, are you still paying 65% and you like pass on those? So for mid and high end, we'll use that 65%, but lower end it's much lower just because the profit margins are very low. Yeah, right. I will not go up. It doesn't matter how liquid it is because I'm only making 10%. The difference is I might sell it tomorrow as opposed to two weeks from now, but I'm only making 10%. Gotcha. So like there's no point. Sometimes on super high end, I will go less than 65% because if there's no recent comps, I might take a best offer down the line, which means I'm eating into profit. So if yeah. I operate at that 10%, I'm like, maybe I might lose money. Not very liquid at all. I might offer less than that. Most of the people, they want that bump up in trade because we give them that 10% and they like that with yeah. all of our competitive prices. It's not our main job. It's just, you know, a very passionate side hustle. Okay. Retirement money, hopefully. Okay, um, and then with our YouTube channel growing, like maybe this could become a full-time gig in the future, but not anytime soon. Just enjoying the process. Did you have any other questions I was gonna help the customers? If you hit me up on IG, I'm more than happy to have a discussion with you guys. You guys have a great weekend. He's the hustler? Yeah. All right, man, good luck to you though. Did you give me numbers by any chance? I didn't give you numbers, okay. but I wrote it down. So it's about 600, 600. Oh, it's making an even 30 in trade value. Okay, that sounds great. All right, let me take a video of this and then let me get you a post-it and my wife can help you out, all right? Thanks so much, man. Make it nice and easy. What's going on, yeah. Bulk, six. Just give you double six, 12 in trade. You got what you're looking for already? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. Thank you. No problem. Thanks guys for stopping by. Have a good weekend. Thank you. It is the same colors as the- Also going boss, give me one sec. You didn't know Invictus then. It's hard to find uh, people who know watches. Watches are like what we call a uh, long lost art because everyone's got their smart watch. How's it going man? Busy. How's stuff moving for you guys on eBay? It moves very well. A lot of people have been like struggling to move stuff, so the fact that you're doing it is just good. It just means their price wrong. The market is definitely down. Yeah, if you're buying at a place where you can sell like at or slightly below the market, then that's that's right. We undercut the market on yeah. eBay. We're always the cheapest prices, so Smart. our stuff moves because it's the first, it's the cheapest. People want to get the most out of their money. Like they know what they're into it for, so they want to make a little bit of money. Because a lot of people have been buying stuff for the past six months. Price memory. Yeah. yeah. You can't think that way. So this is going to be cash prices, and then I'll bump you up for trade because you're doing okay. trade. Okay. So I just need to do it for cash so I can visually see it. We can do partial trade, partial cash. I, yeah, like, that's like, the 175, we definitely can get there. Just okay. what do you want to give up and if there's anything else you want. So this for that. All right. Okay, let me take a video of this. So that's yours. That base is hard. How much is that? We are a little overpriced. 350. 
It went down. I'm gonna see where you're at. Yeah, I can't I can put in cash if it's not. I think you should be fine. Yeah, so you're already here. Do you want me to cash you out on yeah. this? Yeah, okay, okay. So let's do this for this. Okay. That's yours. 65. 20, 40, 65. Right. Here you go, man. Okay. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. your patience. I'm sorry yeah. for waiting, man. You want to think about it? Yeah. You have the poster, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What can I help you guys with? What's your bolt? A bolt. We can guess to me. It's like pennies on the dollar at the end of the day. $55 in trade. You guys have $55 in trade value. Go see my wife whenever you guys are all set, all right? Thank you very much. No problem, man. That. Thank you, guys. Hi, what'd you pick up? What is that? Is that um, Sanrio, right? Yeah. What's that kitty's name? Um, uh, Are you guys gonna come back next month? Um, I don't know. All right, well, if I don't see you, happy Thanksgiving, and then happy holidays, all right? Take care, be safe. Bye. Did you want candy on your way out? Did you get some? Help yourself. You can't blame me for cavities though, all right? <laughs> you gotta brush your teeth. What's going on, man? You here to flaunt your money on me again? This guy is hustling over here. <laughs> He's like, I made 30 bucks today. I'm like, damn, you're making more money than I did. He's like, how much money did you make today? I'm like, I didn't make anything. I'm spending my money. Oh, you'll be here next month? Okay, well, happy Thanksgiving then. So on, boss, quick question. $2, five, six, seven, and eight. There you go, man. Uh-huh. These are the ones you wanted? Uh -huh. Except five. Except five. Yeah, I think. You said you like this one, the mushroom guy? What? I thought your house. Is it? I don't know. It looks like a mushroom. It's a rock salt Pokemon. Awesome. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate Thank you guys. It. Thank you for your patience. Yeah, no problem. So these are the cards you need. 20, 26. We can do it for 20. There you go. Thank you. No problem. Good luck. May the odds be forever in your favor. <laughs> Some of the people are like, I don't get that reference. You're like, oh, you're too young. I felt it. Yeah, yeah. So the new total is 820 minus the one, two, three, four, five cards, right? Yeah, it's 820 now. 850? Uh, we can do 850. That's fine. Uh huh. Thank you guys. That has my email on it. If you can send me the updated list, probably we'll have everything by then. All set? Yes, sir. Thank you. Can you get a chance? Price them out? Yep. A cash or trade? Uh, cash. Okay. 50 in trade. You're short. Do you want more stuff? You don't need to open them, boss. I'm gonna close them back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. I trust you. If not, then you get bad karma. I mean, <laughs> so in cash, it's 25. If you want it in trade, it actually it's 26. 52 in trade. Uh, I don't like BGS. Is it all BGS? Uh, PSA for Pokemon. Better? Yeah, a lot better. Hello, sir. How's it going, boss? So 178, 143, 120, and 45. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So your cash total is $60. All right, you're all set. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very busy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, thirteen cash. We're running low on cash, just to be honest. Let me know when you get a boss. Thank you. Thanks. Uh-huh. Anytime. All right, we are going to wrap up the video here. I know I didn't shoot an intro. That was not on purpose. So for background, I was very behind on repricing everything we bought yesterday because we bought so much that we had planned to come an hour and a half ahead of time before the show opens in order to reprice everything. And about 30 minutes into setting up, I didn't even finish setting up. People had come by to drop off and sell and buy and trade already. We took in 30,000 cards before the show even open. I'd say today went extremely well, bought a ton of bulk as you guys know I love to do. I think in total we probably purchased over 50,000 cards in bulk. Um, that's not to mention the slabs and other singles that we bought today, but we did a lot of buying today. Um, did a decent amount of selling, uh, but we did. But we came here to buy and that's what we did. Uh, it is the last, this is the last show of November, so uh, the next show 
won't be until December, which is a New York Card Guys show, and then this show returns right before Christmas. So we have two more shows of the year. Uh, it's been an exhausting day. I finally got a chance to take a breather. I've been nonstop buying. Uh, when I went to use a restroom real quick and I sat back down to the table, I guess the adrenaline wore off because I got hit with the, the wall and I just felt exhausted. But we're gonna go home. We're gonna drop everything off and then my wife and I are gonna go get something to eat and then we're going to um, kind of rest for a couple of while. We got, we got some while to rest because the next show isn't for a couple of weeks. So um, we have Thanksgiving ahead of us. We got Thanksgiving break now, uh, but we'll see all of you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see all of you guys in the next video.